package from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video, we are going to take a closer look at the PlayStation and place it to to HDMI. I already did a review about the previous model. This is version number two. Okay, and just need to point out, I'm going to focus this video on PlayStation 2 and later on I will make one for the PlayStation 1. But nevertheless, what you're going to get is this very tiny dongle that you're going to put in the same connection like your original cable. And it will convert, like freaking magic, to HDMI. It comes with this manual and there is one thing that I already noticed. So, if you look at the dongle it says HD 1080p out. But when you're reading the manual close, you can see it's talking about 480p. Hmm, the Chinese are always so naughty. So what you need to take in consideration when you're using the dongle, it will need some extra juice like pound cables and all the other stuff. So you can use this little cable, grab yourself the USB power from your PlayStation, otherwise use a little, let's say, phone charger. But nevertheless... Let's use it. Let's stick it in. It fits in very nice. And uh, let's go. Alright, so I'll give you, give you a little demonstration how it works. Here we're going to put in the USB cable and that's the only thing that you need to do. To be honest, I really hate it, but yeah, we need it. Otherwise it doesn't work. Alright, so they didn't lie, because if you look at the left top corner, you can see it says Paul HD 1080p. But the first thing that I'm already seeing that the image looks pretty damn washed out. But I'm guessing that they are using the RGB signal and upscaling it like a cheap upscaler. So there are, let's say, something wrong. I don't have a problem with this, but at the end, what you're going to get is this washed out image. There is no way to adjusting it. We can adjust for, as you can see, the screen size. But sadly, my Elgato forces us back to the widescreen. So let's play some games and let's see what we're going to get with the image itself. And I'm from Earth. Ready? There Fire. you are. Take this. ahead for her. Very well. This should be interesting. Well, aren't we cheeky? This will be fun. Versus Ivy. Fight! <laughs> 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 Alright, so this is what you're going to get with the PlayStation 1 or 2 to HDMI. Funny thing is that it says 1080p. Um, if you looked at the little icon in the left top corner, you see 1080p, but my Elgato says 720p. So it's all freaking confusing, but the point is that this thing, the image that he is upscaling is not that great because it's more like the analog is signal. 
it's very poor quality and the image looks very washed out. The audio is okay, but is this the experience you want to have with an HDMI upscaler? We have a lot of different options out there. Did a review about the first generation of these dongles were also very cheap and the image looks way better than yeah, with version number two. It's all confusing, but it explains why you can use PlayStation 1 on it. We'll try it in a different video. For now, this is what you're going to get. Let me know what you think of this. What a thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell. Become one of the Wicked family and I will see you in the next video.